<laughs> you use the human tactic, shoot from the horse with a bow. I've used that before. I don't know if you saw my last stream. Um, and I think I've just recently uploaded the video to YouTube, have I? No, it hasn't got up yet. It's not been released yet anyway. But uh, yeah, I did a lot of backpedaling while shooting a great big band of people coming at me in the dark. And I would have died if I hadn't done that. It, was, it felt like a cheesy tactic, but it damn well worked. Yeah, it was really, It was one where I had to sneak into Prebislavitz, where the humans have it. And I got, I got, I was in my stealth gear, so I didn't have the armor on. And I got um, interrupted. And yeah, I thought I was dead. But luckily I managed to back off, shoot them in the face. And it worked a treat. So I do like the bow. It's an old tactic, but it checks out. <laughs> the usual or something special. Right. Why is the shop door shut? Please don't tell me he's on holiday or something. Oh no. It's good. It's good. Brilliant. Get the stuff off the horse. See everything. Everything that we can possibly sell now. Is going on here. Hey, there's none of these that are actually quiet, are there? These dark brigandines. No. There is a piece of armour that's actually fairly quiet, but I think, unless they altered it, maybe patched it. I've not been able to find it. Um, that's for stealth, so straight onto that. Oh, I've got two of those. Good God, this is going to be a big sell. Three of those. Oh, man. There's no way he's going to have the money for this. Is that my... That might be my stealth one, is it? No, it's not. That's a stealth one. So we leave those there. And that. Okay, and Henry is now... £498. Nearly £300 over encumbered. But he can still move... He is a superman. I should have had a wash before coming in here. What happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. I was actually. Actually, do you have a trough outside your? See you later. He might just have a trough just outside his house here. Urgh, you can hear the joints creaking and groaning under the weight of all this stuff. Right, do that. Charisma nineteen. We quickly repair the armor. At least my stuff. I don't think I need to repair the other crap. Can't repair that one. Any more armor kits? Should be some. I've taken a right pasting tonight in combat. No, that's fine. That's sorted. Right. What do you reckon in the chat? Do you think we'll get all this stuff sold? God save you, Henry. No, I wasn't asking to find a uh, Silent Jane every language. Just just one language would do. Well, English, and you did. That was uh, that was a good job. Marijuana. And didn't that one wouldn't have come to my mind if you hadn't mentioned it. Uh, okay, how much has he got? He's got twenty nine thousand groschen. Holy crap! I can sell all this stuff easily. Right. Here we go then. Let's see how much we can clean him out for with this. This is going to be fun. Go on then, chat. Have a guess. Have a guess how much we're going to get off him. We're up to 3.5k already. A load of Italian bassinets. That's a good one. Yep. Three noble coifs. And... We're up to seven and a half K. Make sure I don't sell Henry's by accident. <laughs> Nine and a half K. Couple of those. One of those. Silver ring. Four silver spurs. Bloody hell, Henry, you are a legend carrying all this crap about. Can I sell anything else? No. Twelve K. Before we haggle. Swimming Labrador, you thought I was gonna get Let's talk about the price. 
Well, uh. we can try it. Well, yes, harmless. It is a silent J because you don't make the, the hard J sound. So it is kind of a silent J. And besides, you could still pronounce marijuana with the other letters in there. So it doesn't need the J at all. And you're not pronouncing that as a H because the UA in there make a H sound or an H sound. So, um, yeah, there you go. I think it's a silent J and I'm sticking to that because it's not something <laughs> I see any value in um, trying to find another one, another example of. Can I think I can get 16 grand off this? No, that's going to really upset him, isn't it? But let's do it. We agree. Oh, straight to the bottom. It'll take more than that to persuade me. How far is he coming down? Uh, well, we're gonna get fourteen grand, I think. I think we're gonna do that one. All right, so yeah, fourteen grand in one transaction, and I'm still overloaded because I must have a stack of weapons on. So that ah, that was that mace I wanted to have a look at, wasn't it? Raven's beak. Bit of stab, bit of blunt. What does it look like? Looks pretty cool. I might... I might have a go with that, just for fun. Right. Henry isn't... Henry's definitely not broke. Henry's probably richer than some of these lords. Weaponsmith at the top end of town. Greetings, Henry. I need a tailor. I need a tailor because I just remembered. Yeah, I can't repair that for some reason once it gets that far down. There is a tailor over here who does still speak to me, even though I have robbed him on multiple occasions. Hmm. That might deserve a trip to the bathhouses. I think you're right. I think that's an excellent suggestion. What is it? Hey, watch it. Are you serious? Come on, just get in the shop. Just get in the shop. Right. Greetings, good night. Uh, repairs. Yep, just that one. Select. And just close the deal. It ain't worth haggling over that. Weaponsmith, sell the junk. Then where was I going? I'm just killing time, really, until that quest in... Merge your head. Merge your head. God, I hope the sequel to this is set in the UK. <laughs> Wars of the Roses, 1400s. We can travel to Birmingham and Bristol and York. I can manage those names. I can manage those. Right, let's go and sell this stuff. Yeah, I think you're right, Henry does deserve a trip to the bathhouse. He's earned it. There's a bathhouse at Talmberg, isn't there? Which is kind of on the way. We're gonna have to look into this Queen of Sheba sword at some point as well. I hope I can be of help to you. I'm sure you can. How much money do you have? 3.1k. So we can get rid of one Boosh shield, one ceremonial mace, coxcomb, human metal shield. A decorated shield. I don't need all these swords, do I? Herod's sword versus 68.55. What's the defense? Is 111 on that one. Better defense on Longinus's sword. Charisma 15. Same charisma. Longinus has better durability. It does substantially less slash damage. But substantially more stab. <clears throat> Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. <coughs> well, Longinus is worth more as well. Hmm. Tell you what, I won't sell it. What I'll do is I'll stick that on the horse. And we'll try them out and sell them another time. I'd like to discuss the price. Any clothes to sell? Well, nope. I got cleared out at the armorsmith for that. Is it like seeing them do the next game in feudal Japan? Uh, if they do that, then they seriously can't use the same voice actor that does Henry, because that will not fit in in enough? feudal Japan. A nice sum. 
In fact, they'll have to make get rid of a lot of the voice actors they've used here because they don't really fit in with the Holy Roman Empire, but you can sort of pass on that because they do fit in with a the medieval theme. They, they do kind of match that, but they won't match a samurai theme at all. Imagine getting a... Get, uh, going to speak to some samurai lord. And he responded with, Oh, ah, yes, I, can, I, I can't read and I can't write, but I can drive a tractor. Yeah, it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work at all. So where was I going then? Back there, back there. Actually, am I running out of quests to do? Pestilence, we have to wait. Restless spirit. Oh, I've got to go to Father Godwin. That is, that is seriously miles off. Well, I can wait, I'm sure. Raiders. Where are the raiders? Oh my God, were they there? That would have been pretty handy. Do a bandit camp before night. I think I'd be tempted to go and do a bandit camp now, finish the stream off, and then uh, start the main quest next turn. So let's go and do that. I think that's a good plan. So what we're going to do, fast travel to... What's my status? My energy's knackered. What's the time of day? Getting on for night. Let's go to the bathhouse. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of history in this game, and it's all based on real locations as well, which I really like, and some real characters. Okay, harmless. Thanks for joining us tonight. Maybe catch you on the next one. I'm streaming this again Monday night, so if you want to catch some more, I'll see you then. Hopefully, otherwise, have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, thanks again for. I keep this company tonight. Right, let's see this woman. Yeah, I think I've got time to do a bandit camp. I'm interested in your uh, services. And what is it you'd like? We'll go for the works. I'd like um. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I'm Come sure on, we've seen this a hundred times. <laughs> Can't skip that bit for some reason oh. though. Oh. Oh. Uh, Italy, Italy would work. That's got, like, uh, a lot of medieval stories and stuff. I'm saying medieval. It doesn't have to be strictly the same time period as this, but they've got the combat system and the weapons and everything. It would be a, easier for them to, to make um, more stories based in a similar sort of setting and era. So, And that would be good because there's lots more stories that could be told. May the I Lord think. Watch over you, Henry. It's dark. Um, I always come out of this and get lost because this doesn't look like the place I came in at. Yeah, and there's a horse, right? Right, oh, get the map on. Yeah, now fast travel in the dark. Not good. There wasn't an inn at uh, Merge. Oh, hang on, I've been pronouncing it wrong. It's Mehojed. Mehojed. I've been putting the J in here in the middle. Mehojed. All right. A little bit easier, maybe. Um, where can I stay? Where can I sleep a night? I want to get somewhere close and sleep. Just to get daylight. There's got to be somewhere there, hasn't there? So let's, let's fast travel here. Right, if it's going to let me. Not going to let me, is it? There. Why won't it let me do this? Come on. There we go. Spain during the Reconquista, yep, that would work, with a few modifications to weapons and stuff, but same sort of combat mechanics should work pretty well. We've got the Hundred Years' War in France, which was during this time, so that would fit in perfectly. Hold up. Oh, God. Oh, when did I save? I'm on a horse, so I can run away. Oh, there's guards getting involved. Hang on, I'm going to get off. Just a minute. They're coming for it, look. Oh, I was going to use this. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on. Yeah, I want to use this uh, raven's claw. What's it called? Bird's beak or something. It's not called that at all. What's it called? It's called raven's beak. That's it. 
Ouch. Go on, try that again, scumbag. And one on the bonce with it. Smack him in the face. That works quite well, actually. And smack. It's got a bit of stab damage on this, so it's it's not a bad mace. Actually, it's quite an interesting one. It's not doing a lot of damage. Oh, God, it's done the same thing as before. I can't see anymore. Hang on, where's the body gone? Is that it? No, what the hell was that? Mint. Oh, God, we're going to have to come back to this. Let's go and kill some more people with torches. Ass. Who the hell are these people? Are these guards? There's a bandit. I can loot this. Okay, I'll just loot him. See, this guy's got some nice rich stuff on as well. But sod it. I'm just, I've, I've got a bit fed up of looting everything. Let's just put my torch on. In place of that. That, that, well, that was an interesting mace that. I quite like it. I'm going to have to try that out a bit further. Right, put that away. So I think they were guards, then people that ran off. Communion chalice. Hmm. Take that. I've got 44,000 groschen. I've got 50,000 groschen in a chest in the inn. Viking era. Now, that would be interesting in this. They would have to do quite a bit of work with armor and mechanics, though, because that, that is quite different to this, this period. So, um, doable. Like, the base game mechanics and everything are, are good and enjoyable. Is that another one there? Did I just not see him at all? These weren't particularly good bandits, were they? And where's the one that I killed? I chased him off into the woods for miles, didn't I? Could be anywhere up here. I remember seeing... Oh, hang on. Hang on, what's that? Yep, nice shiny armour. Has he got a fancy... Yeah, he's got some coal. Good God, I'm glad I came back for this. Right, that is worth stealing. Oh, do you know what? That's all worth a lot of money. I'll have that lot. And that. And some cheap wine. Because why not? Hmm. I wonder what one of these type of games would work like in like the Dark Ages, Anglo-Saxon period. And with Vikings. It's the right time. Because there's some like epic sagas and stories from that time, aren't there? So that could uh, that could work really well. Not necessarily just for Kingdom Come Deliverance style, but just a good open world role playing game in this style in that period, I think would work well. Anything else that'll do? Okay, more testing needed with that weapon. I quite liked it. Now where's my horse gone? Just have to stay away from firearms. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're, we're making an entire... What's the word? Family catalogue of games that Warhorse Studios could create from, from this one. And hopefully they will. So I was going to go and stay there. I think instead... Should we just go for it? Go and find the camp and kill them. Sneaking in the dark? Maybe. Sneak in the dark. The dark is my friend. I must remember that. I might not think so when I'm fast travelling and getting attacked by bandits all the time, but darkness is my friend. Hold up. Yep, let's let's get off. Let's have a fight. Now, what's going on? Lost before something nasty happens to you. What the hell? No, hang on. I can't let this go ahead. This is bad. Bring it on. Bring it on. I should block that and block that one instead. Right. This is what I need to test this with. Ouch. 
Nice combo, son. Nice combo. Now, how do I get the mace combo off that I learned? I can't remember. Oh, missed that one. That one. And then that one again. Nope. So it's stab. Stab. Nope. Stab. Stab. Stab left. It's it's stab left. Stab again. And I can't get the last one off. Because he's ducking and dodging. And he's gone down there. And it's all gone dark because someone's killed the guy with a torch. I hate this. Come on. Let's go and see who there is to kill. He's got some nice stuff on him. Where's he gone? He was here. Who are you? You're a guard, right? Okay. You're a bandit. Mercy kill. Whoa, Henry. <laughs> right. I've never seen a mercy kill quite that savage before. Hmm. This, these are rich. Holy crap. Hound skull shield um, helmet. So I guess you guys took out the rest of the bandits? Right, so we, we found that guy. Dead guard. I'm not looting that in case I get done for stealing. Oh well, I can't see what the hell else went on around here, so... Looks like we're done. Hey, 21 Killerton. Uh, nice to see you again. And thank you very much for the bits. Raven's Beacon Shield, the gentleman's choice. There's someone on one of the YouTube videos that I put up of this on the Let's Play channel recommended I try the Raven's Beak as another good mace. I'd never heard of it before. And I just happened to stumble upon one. Can I, can I actually... No, I'll get done for stealing this, won't I? And... Um, I've got to say, I quite like it. More testing needed. But I think I prefer it to the ceremonial mace. Which looks like a better weapon. But I don't know that it really is. Right, let me get rid of some of this stuff onto the horse again. Getting some great loot off the bandits tonight. A bit too good, really. Right, off we go again. Anyway, Killerton, how are you doing? Mainly more uh, um, World of Tanks videos? Let's see. We'll go to... We'll go to Rovna. And we'll set out for that bandit camp from there. It's great with poison too. It's a nice mace with stab damage. And it looks good when you're fighting with it. Which perhaps isn't the most important consideration. But I quite like it, you know. I'm not having much luck with the long swords, to be quite honest. Not tonight, anyway. It's gone pretty bad. This is, uh... Oh, well, I guess I just go through the woods. I'm just going to charge through the woods on my horse, stumble into this camp. Heading east. Let's see where we get to. Stuck on the rock. <laughs> no, you're considering doing a few tank reviews. Nice. Uh, I've slowed down on World of Tank videos. In fact, as anyone who follows me on the main YouTube channel knows, I haven't put a video up in almost two weeks, which wasn't actually intentional. Uh, towards the end of, or towards the beginning of September, I just had so much going on, I decided, well, I'm not going to worry about videos for a few days. Just a few days. I'm going to spend some time with the kids and the family before they go back to school and before summer ends. And I've just had so much going on with home. I've had like a, a plumbing nightmare that I've had to sort out. But basically, I've had to help the plumbers do. I've had to advise them on how to fix it. And I'm no plumber. But I am pretty good with logic. And I can tell when a pipe heats up before another one, that's where the hot water comes from. <laughs> Which uh, the plumbers said, no, no, it can't work like that because, because it's this way around. Look. And I said, yes, but if that pipe gets hot, that's where the hot water comes from. It's logic. Up there for thinking, you see. Um, so yes, I've had to sort that out. And that's turned into a longer job than it should have been. And I've just not got around to making the, any videos for the other channel. Which I was going to do one today. And then I got caught up finishing a couple of other things off. So maybe tomorrow. But yeah, World of Tanks, I'm sort of... I've backed off a bit because I've not enjoyed it as much recently. Not because of issues with the game, necessarily. But just because I think I've played it for the best part of six years. 
quite intensely when I haven't been playing it. I've been either watching videos on it or making videos on it. And it doesn't really have any sparkle left for me. It's just a bit... Uh, not another... Even when I watch a replay that someone sent in, I think not another game on El Haluf or whatever, where you go to the northwest corner and you fight. Yeah, yeah, I've seen one of these before. He's got 10,000 damage, which is good. It's, they're great replays, don't get me wrong, but... It does, the game just doesn't have that that excitement for me anymore because I feel like I've seen it all and done it all. And uh, yeah, it's not a criticism of the game. Any game will get like that once you play it for six years. Well, most games will anyways. Not many that you can play that long and still feel like there's stuff exciting stuff to be done and seen in it. I'm just going to leave the horse here a minute. 